Welcome everyone to The Wine Ladies. And of course to all our friends and fans on Facebook, thewineladies.com and Twitter. Thanks for following and uh, keeping up with everything that we're up to. about Switzerland and the wine industry over there. What, what, what is going on over there right now? Okay, so Switzerland is famous that we have a lot of secrets. So a lot of, of secrets? Our, we have a lot of secrets. Oh, yeah. So one of our secrets is uh, the wine. And if you look at, at the country, we are a small wine country. We, have, uh, we are the size of half of the Champagne. Champagne, so we half of the Champagne region is Switzerland. And we have like six wine regions and every region does, does different wine. And today we have uh, from the Valle. The Valle is the biggest wine region, the most interesting wine region in, in my point of view. And so I brought wine from the Valle region. And that's from French Switzerland, is that right? Well, it's because Switzerland is not only full of secrets, it's complicated. <laughs> and you have different languages. So in yes. the north you have German, you have Italian, you have French. But then like the Valle is also divided in two. So you have a French part in the Valle and the German part. But I brought two French parts. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And maybe you can tell us, I know that Switzerland also has I don't know, is it over 40 indigenous grape varieties? Wines that a lot of us are not that familiar with. Tell us a little bit about the, the different kinds of grapes and which ones are the most planted grapes? So the most planted grape that we have is Chasla. It's a, you know, in other countries, it's a grape you eat. So, but Switzerland does wine out of this. Uh, the, the result is a, a very drinkable, light-bodied, uh, uh, nice uh, operative wine. But then we are very strong in Pinot Noir and Syrah. But uh, this Valle region has, like you said, these 50 grape varieties, and this is like Petit Arvigne, Amigne, Haida, Imogne Rouge, Imogne Blanche, all kinds of things, Cornelin, uh, that, that you find only in Switzerland. So how many different wines are we going to be enjoying this evening? Well, I think you have about 30 wines you can try. And how many varietals? Uh, in these 30 wines, I would say like, a, like a 11, 12 varietals. That's a lot of new wine we're going to try today. <laughs> it is. Now, I understand there is also so the Kurt collection, Chandra Kurt collection, right here, I think. I think we have it in front of us. Is that three different wines that are sort of made in your own style, in conjunction with Madeleine Gay, who's a winemaker. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about these wines. So Madeleine Gay is an old friend of mine. I know her maybe for 20 years, and she is the, the chief winemaker of Provin, this winery. And she was last year the wine woman of the year. She got this this very interesting title. And we started last year also to make a collection of of also these indigenous grape varieties. You see Imonier Blanche, here we have Imonier Rouge, we have a Haida, now it comes the Amigne, then comes a, in, in a Petit Arvigne. So, and she's also called uh, La Grande Dame of the special grape varieties. La Grande Dame La Grande of special Dame. grape varieties. Yeah. What an amazing time we're having here. We are doing a Swiss wine event here at the City Winery in Manhattan. It's incredible, this spot. We're having a great time. Swiss wine in the City. <laughs> and we are sitting here now with the founder and the proprietor of the City Winery. Michael Dorf with us is here with us. This is an incredible concept, Michael. I love it. Tell, uh, tell us a little bit about the City Winery. How did you come up with the idea? Uh, it's a selfish experiment. I wanted a place that I <laughs> could selfish is good. <laughs> eat, drink, and have fun uh, around wine. So that's what this place is about. I had a chance to make wine. Um, about five years ago, and I've been a fan of wine as a, as a consumer for a while, but a chance to make wine really opened up my understanding of what wine was about and actually made me appreciate the whole tasting and, and, and nuance of wine in a whole different way. And I just realized I wanted to do that in New York City. But to do that in New York, where real estate prices are so pricey, I had to come up with a, another formula, really. And my background is a music promoter. Okay. So I felt, you know, what could we do around the, both the promotion of wine, doing things like this, but also around the consumption of wine. And so if I could tie the, the drinking with the wine making in a unique formula, then that would be the, the right way to go in a major urban market like New York City. And, and thus, 
was City Winery. Was City Winery. Was so how many years have you been operating now? About two years has, has been our operation. We're in our third year of our, our third vintage coming up in the, the harvest of 2010. Um, although we get to play with Southern Hemisphere harvests as well. So we're bringing fruit in from Chile next week. We got some stuff from Argentina last year. So because we can go below the equator and, and do two different harvests a, a year. In Switzerland, there are grapes that the terroir there is best. And just like in Bordeaux, they're not making Pinot Noir. And in, in Burgundy, they're not bringing in calves, right? So there's obviously site-specific areas that work best. And so being an urban winery, we get the luxury of going to where terroir is best. We do a lot of private barrel making. So that's how we met you know, these folks, is that they had, we, we, we talked to them about making their own wine and putting a, uh, their name on a barrel. So we have media companies. You guys could buy into a barrel. I and love that idea. It's not a bad the deal. The ladies. And exactly, this is a wine that not a lot of people are familiar with, with this great variety. And it's different, it's a name that people don't know, and it's got a different taste. And it was so interesting to try something different that we're not used to. So maybe you can tell us, Madeleine, a little bit about the Marseille and also about the, the different wine that's indigenous to Switzerland that you have brought into bottle here today. Alors la particularité de la Suisse, c'est qu'on a une région où on a un climat continental, donc il fait très chaud en été, très froid en hiver, et on a des vins, on a des cépages typiques de cette région, donc des cépages qui n'existent pas ailleurs. So we have a lot of grapes that only are grown in Switzerland and nowhere else. Yes. Et puis du fait des grandes différences de température, on a des vins qui mûrissent lentement et qui gardent beaucoup de fruité. Et la particularité de la Marsanne, elle, elle, ça développe des arômes de framboises, des arômes de très expressifs, du fait justement de, de ce climat. So if you have this continental climate, this means that, that grapes can grow uh, and ripe very slowly. Mm -hmm. And it's like in cooking, when you cook very slowly, yes. the meat, for example, is better. So in the grape, it's the same. When they can uh, ripe very slowly, the, uh, the flavors become more beautiful, more, more delicate, more, more intense. And in the, in the Morson, the aroma, you, 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 les, les arômes sont des... des Qu'est-ce que tu as dit comme arôme? De framboise. Yes, so, uh, stro stromboise, strawberry taste. Raspberries. The raspberries, Raspberry. yes. So. Yes, it was very nice. That must be difficult to to command all these growers. I mean, to you know, to be in control of the quality and everything of all these growers. Le qualité, le qualité. Ah, it's it's very important. Yes, yeah. and um, uh, for uh, for. Uh, I help you? Uh, no, <laughs> no. First, qual first quality is very important for uh, uh, la, la vigne. Come on. Ah, the vineyards. The vines. The vines. Yeah. Yes, to, okay. to bottle. Okay, to, okay first word, second ah, word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then your it's company true. is the complete opposite. It's a family owned company. Yes, different, yes. But we have also a wine growers partner because mm -hmm. in Valais, you know, uh, in the, this Rhone Valley, uh, <laughs> Every family has vineyards behind the, the job. So they will work on Saturday or on the evening uh -huh. and they bring the grapes in the cooperative province uh -huh. or uh, in the private uh, family company like us. Okay. So we buy grapes to wine growers yes. and they make super grapes. It's like garden. But it's a hard, hard work to grow vineyards you where can't we put are. The yeah. No yeah. machines, all, all by hand. hand. All by hand. Now we've and heard Valet being being referred to as like the the sunny California. Yeah, it, part. is that true yeah. about Valet? It's the climate, the climate is incredible because of the two barriers of mountain, the Alps. Yes. Yeah. All the humidity stay behind or in altitude, uh -huh. and where we are in the in the in the slope and in the plain. It's uh, about uh, 600 millimeter per year of rain and 2,000 hours of sunshine wow. during the season, the growing season. So it's very hot and dry climate, very good for vineyard. That's why we have a lot of different varietals. Well, if, if what we are tasting here today is an example of, of the wonderful wines that are available in Switzerland, I think, you know what, this is a great event to get the message out there that everybody should drink more Swiss wines. But you got to let us have them. You only give us 2%. Um, you start sharing. You know? no, we will share more and more. We will share more and more. <laughs>